It's time for the lemon moose. Hi, I'm Steve Warnoff and welcome to the Ingalls table in retirement. I found some amazing second career hobby jobs. And one of them is filling in as an interim innkeeper at some of the best bed and breakfast you'll find in the country. I love to cook and surprise my guests with something special. And that's just what we're going to do today. I've already been to Ingalls and have everything I need to prepare this wonderful and delightful treat. So the primary ingredients for this lemon curd mousse, sugar, fresh lemon juice, lemon zest, egg yolk, and some good butter. And so first what we're gonna do is we have to make what's called the curd. And to do that, uh, a nice heavy saucepan, uh, we're gonna add the egg yolks. And I've already got those prepared. And next we're gonna add the sugar. We're gonna give that a really nice good whisk. Mix it up real good. And then we're gonna add our fresh lemon juice and get that all nice and good and incorporated. Now, we do not wanna bring this to a rapid boil, just to the point of boiling. So when you see some bubbles around the edge and you have to continually whisk this, but when you see some bubbles around the edge, it's gonna be pretty much ready. And also, you'll see that it, it begins to thicken um, a little bit. So now we're gonna add, now that we have that incorporated, we're gonna add our butter. And this is a full stick. We're gonna continually whisk away until this becomes a little bit thick, as I mentioned. And we'll add the lemon zest. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do after you get the lemon curd set is you're gonna to wanna to strain it. And you can put it through cheesecloth or just a regular metal strainer over a, a bowl. And once you have that done, then what you wanna do is put it into a non-reactive, like a glass bowl, a non-reactive bowl. And you want to put some plastic wrap over the top of it. Now, not just over the top of the bowl, but you wanna put it onto and let it touch the top of the curd, and that will keep it from forming a crust on the top because you're gonna refrigerate this for 24 hours. So, I have my curd done, and I've gone ahead and prepared a curd and have it in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna take this away and get it going, and I will be back in a, in a minute, and we're, I'm gonna show you how to whip cream. And what we do is take fresh whipped cream and then we will incorporate that into the curd and that then will turn it into the mousse. I'll be back in just a minute. So I'm back and I have everything prepared to put together the mousse. Now, the mousse that I prepared just a minute ago, I have in the refrigerator, but I made up one yesterday. And as I mentioned about putting the uh, plastic wrap over it, this is what it looks like and what you'll see when you bring it out of the uh, refrigerator, it's really nice and forms a super good curd, as you see, it's nice and thick. So the next step is to make whipped cream. I like to make my own fresh. Um, and so I have the heavy cream and I have a stainless steel bowl that I have put in the freezer and gotten nice and chilled because that helps with the process of making the whipped cream. And then I have a beater and um, I also put the, the beaters um, in the freezer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our whipping cream, our heavy cream in the chilled bowl and we're gonna start whipping. Now at first what you wanna do is have this, have this go at about oh, medium speed because you don't want whipped cream going all over everywhere. And I kinda go in a circular motion and this is gonna take somewhere in the neighborhood of about five minutes. And as it begins to thicken up, you can raise the speed. Okay, and you can see that it's a nice, peaky, <laughs> use that term, 
So next what we want to do to get it to get it just a little bit of the cream, take about a quarter cup or so. And what we want to do is nicely fold, not stir, some of the whipped cream. Notice I'm just using kind of circular motions and just kind of folding the bottom to the top. And once you get this nice and incorporated, then what you want to do is add the rest of your whipped cream, about another cup or so. And now you continue with the folding. And the good part about this too is that once you get it nice and incorporated, you don't need to let it set up in the refrigerator for another 24 hours, although you could, but this is ready to, or be ready to serve immediately. You can see how well this stands up on its own. It's a really nice, light mousse. And I use kind of the back of my spoon here to get it kind of evened out. But again, you can see how it, how it stands up. And then to decorate it, put a nice little twist of lemon. Sprinkle with a few little blueberries. So I just finished my lemon curd mousse and I wanted to tell you a couple wines that pair really nicely with this delightful dessert. One of them is an Asti Spumante. Um, it's a sparkling wine. Um, it is on the sweeter side and it complements the body and the texture of the mousse. Another one that's a little bit more hearty and that's a good tawny port. It also offsets the complexity um, and the body and the full flavor of the mousse. It doesn't overpower and just sets them off really nicely. And if you would like this complete recipe, as well as some tips and tricks and other recipes, please join us on the Ingalls Table. We'll see you next time.